Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about some more diversity on parameters like the germ layers. There are animals which develop from only two germ layers. They are called diploblastic and there are animals which develop or their body completely develops from three germ layers. They are called triploblastic. Now when we talk of diploblastic animals, their body is formed by the two germ layers that is ectoderm and endoderm. Whereas in case of triploblastic, the body develops from ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm. Now the animals which are from platyhelminth to cortex, they are triploblastic. So here we include platyhelminth to cortex. And the animals which are before platyhelminth, they would come under uh, diploblastic animals. That is poriferans, nidarians, they would come here. And platyhelminth to cordates, they would be triploblastic. So this is also one way of classifying animals. The next parameter is metamerism. Metamerism basically means repetition of some structures. Repetition of, of structures. Now what exactly we mean by this repetition and how is this uh, repetition taking place. It could be external as well as internal. For, in, uh, for example, in annelida, that is in earthworms. In the body also from externally we find there are segments and each segment is separated from the other by formation of a depression. So there is a depression of sulcus which gives the annular appearance. So there is external segmentation. Internally also the body segments are separated by septa. So there is external segmentation also or repetition also segments are there. These are known as the external segments. They are called the metamers and internal segments are separated, uh, separated by septa. So there is internal, external separation and repetition. So external segmentation uh, corresponds to the internal and there is repetition. So we call that annelids are metamerically segmented. Now if we take the example of vertebrates. In case of vertebrates there is only external, oh, sorry, only internal repetition. That means metamerism is only internal. So internal metamerism. Now what exactly we mean by this? There is repetition of structures like vertebrae. So there are various vertebrae which are there repeated. Ribs, muscles. So there is repetition of internal structure but we do not find externally this internal uh, repetition corresponding. We don't see externally that here would be this vertebra then this vertebra but internally there is repetition of vertebrae as well as ribs. In case of arthropods, there is external metamerism. External segmentation is there but internal repetition is not there. Externally we find prothorax, mesothorax, metathorax and 10 abdominal segments but internally there is no such repetition of structures. So this is nothing but the metamerism on the basis of which we can again classify animals. Another parameter is called syphilization. Syphilization is basically 
concentration of the nervous system towards the anterior part or in simple words we can say head formation and this is due to concentration of central nervous system now this central nervous system could be in the form of a ganglion or it could be in the form of brain and this is towards the anterior side so head formation takes place which is known as syphilization and it starts from flat worms and it goes to or up to chordates before this there is no civilization, there is no head like structure or if at all there is a nerve or neurons present they can be diffused or scattered. Another parameter uh, on which we can classify or see the diversity in animal kingdom is appendage. What exactly are appendages? Appendages are structures which extend from the main body. So they can be any side, on the upper side, lower side, lateral side, there are extensions, structures extending from the main body. And these structures, they help in two things. One is feeding and locomotion. Let us take few examples. Say for example, the uh, appendage is tentacle. Now these tentacles are found in hydra like animals and they help in capturing of food then uh, other than these there can be some other functions also on these tentacles there are stinging cells present that means they would also help in defense for hydra these structures can also help in locomotion when we come to this phylum we'll talk about how tentacles would help in locomotion also then the structure could be parapodia Parapodia are leaf-like structures which extend on the lateral sides in case of neris. Neris belongs to anelida. So in this neris, the body shows this metamerism and on either side, there are these leaf-like flat structures which are called parapodia. They would help in locomotion as well as in respiration. So depending upon what additional function it does, we can add that function to it. But the main functions would remain like feeding and uh, locomotion. Then, apart from parapodia, there can be structures like fins. These are seen in case of fishes. Then there could be structures like limbs, which are seen in case of higher animals, which uh, normally the limbs are four limbs and that is why they are called tetrapodes. Other locomotive structures could be simple arms like in case of uh, starfish and on the arms would be present some other structures. So that also can help in locomotion and on the arms in case of uh, starfish there are tube feet which is an additional structure which actually helps in locomotion. So there can be many things extending from the body and these in case of um, arthropods we can have or we can talk of jointed legs. The legs are made up of small pieces. This is seen in case of arthropod. So there are various kinds of animals classified on the basis of what type of appendage they have on the basis of whether they have civilization or not or these parameters. So the idea of discussing all these parameters is to understand the diversity or the variety that we find in this animal kingdom. Now in the next part we will see the diversity which is seen in case of animal kingdom on the basis of the internal organ systems like digestive system, how many different types of digestions can be there, respiration, uh, nervous system, excretion. So that would be another uh, thing which would help us understand this variety that is seen in case of this kingdom.